Two teams have already moved on to Cleveland. NC State, what a spring it has been on that campus. They took down Texas. South Carolina, meanwhile, still perfect. They continue their dominance. So those two schools are in the Final Four. Now, tonight, we get the three-seed UConn against the one-seed USC. Two of the best players in the country going head-to-head, -head, Paige Beckers and Juju Watkins. That's the nightcap tonight. The earlier game is the rematch of last year's national championship game, LSU taking on Caitlin Clark in Iowa. It's the eighth championship game rematch in the NCAA tournament the following year. Iowa is a very slim favorite. Caitlin Clark, of course, is the player that everybody knows and talks about, and you see where she stands on the all-time leaderboards in NCAA tournament history. She has a chance to add to all of those. But let's go. Let's dive into this thing a little bit here. Andrea Carter and, and Shanae Gumuke, good enough to get up super early with us, guys. Thank you. I, I know it's going to be a very long day into the night. We talked earlier this morning, and it occurs to me, Andrea, that while Iowa is a one and a half point favorite, it feel the momentum feels to me like the zeitgeist feels to me like they're an underdog in this game. How do you see it? Uh, I, that's exactly what Shanae said earlier. It does feel that way, and it could be partially because LSU, they're the reigning national champions. They have the title from last season, and they're coming in with that, hey, we've done this already. They're coming in with that energy. So, Shanae, I would completely agree with you. Greeny, I agree with you. It just feels like LSU has a little bit of the edge, and I also think because everybody's looking at this Iowa team, like, what can Caitlin do? At times, it feels like it's Caitlin against LSU when in mm -hmm. Reality, it has to be the entire Iowa team if they want to get a win. That's absolutely correct, and I've been saying it everywhere. It's the NCAA tournament, and the two A's actually stand for Angel Reese and Anissa Morrow. So, yes, you're seeing Caitlin Clark here. She will have to do everything and then some because she's going up against an LSU squad that has the Bayou Barbie and Angel Reese. Y'all, I'm an offensive rebounder as a player. She puts that to shame. My numbers, she averages 19 and 13. They have the luxury of size in this matchup, and I think that can be the differentiator. You How know, about Greeny, I just got a, I, go, I got Andrea, a slight go. headache. I got a slight headache because we played against Shanae in college and she put up 30 points and 20 rebounds. So she <laughs> does know how to speak to offensive rebounding and it just took me back to a bad place. So we, we got to reset really quickly. <laughs> All right, so you two have gone head to head. Obviously, these two teams went head to head last year and it, it was it was such a fascinating game and people will remember so well the Angel Reese and, and, and Caitlin Clark part of it and all that kind of stuff. So what are we looking for tonight in that piece of it, Sinead? Tell Talk to me about the psychological piece of this matchup for these two teams and programs because they know each other well. It's funny because I feel like for everyone that's watching, all the fans throughout the nation, this is a rivalry and there's even some emotions, there's some feelings. But what I love is these ladies understand what the moment means. I said this before. Actually, you know what's crazy? It was you, Drea, that said it. There's no Caitlin Clark without Angel Reese and there's no Angel Reese without Caitlin Clark because they fuel off of their energy, trying to elevate each other's games. Iowa, Caitlin Clark, iconic. The greatest women's basketball score we've ever seen. It's been motivated off of the failure of last season. Angel Reese taking the spotlight, having that chip on her shoulder. They have helped each other's games and they said it themselves, Drea. You know what? There's no hate here. We understand that we are doing great things for women's basketball overall. Yeah, I love what both of these superstars have said. For Angel to be like, listen, we're going to talk our trash on the court and we can kick it after. Like, they have an understanding of the moment. Coming into this tournament, people were asking me what my favorite part was, and I said that the superstars are ready to meet the moment. And I fully believe we're going to see that tonight. Both teams have to execute. We've seen both teams need to execute in certain ways. We don't even need to get in the basketball part right now. But these two going at it is going to be really special. Just like we always go at it in studio, me and Drea, point guard, yeah. pose. You know what it is. She puts some buckets up at, at Tennessee, too. So respect <laughs> to her game.